Photography nights. So tonight I'm going to uh, go through how you can go from an image like this, which is battered, let's be honest, not very, took very well, done with a, a non modified Canon camera that's probably older than most of your teenagers. Um, it's over a 75 to 300 kit lens, at about 150. Uh, I did 60 second exposures for two hours and this is what I came up with and we're going to get it looking like this so guys let's get cracking shall we um, so what I tend to do is save all my images so there's a temporary folder here so I've got your obviously got your lights your darks and your bias um, I didn't do any um, flats for this one so I've got all my lights in there you can see then all of my darks and bias so there's no point in we obviously know what we're doing from here so what we do is we open up Deep Sky Stacker which is the one the stacking software that I use which basically stacks your images so to find this one what you need to do control google deep sky stacker hit the old download and it will just download i'm not going to go through how to download a program um, another program that i will be using is starnet um, version 2 but i'll go through that a bit later in the video so once you've obviously downloaded deep sky stacker so here we go we'll open it up here so what you want to do is start with you're going to open up your picture files which is let's just go back onto the desktop here um, <coughs> so which is going to be your lights so it's your main pictures so all I do is just click on that and then click control A which selects all and then click that and then what that will do is it will put it all into into the, into the stacker then do the same again with your darks then we go in with the darks in here do the same again so click control A and then again with your bias Control A again. Click open. Right, so now they're all in there. What we want to do next is go to check all, which checks all of the pictures, and then you want to go to register checked pictures. This will bring up this nice little box here. It's got your actions and advanced. So what I always do is put this around 90%. That's basically going to stack 90% of your best pictures. And then if you want your advanced tool, here is where you, you've got your star detection threshold. Um, obviously the lower that is, the more stars you're going to get. So I would start it off at about 12. See how many it's going to find? 5 stars. Obviously that's not very good. So bring that down to about 8%. Try again. 13 stars. And then drop it down as far as you want really. And drop down some more. Like I said, this is not a perfect picture. I use this picture on purpose just to show you what you can pull out of a picture, no matter how bad it is. So, so we've got 511, which is okay. We want usually between 4 and 800, so that would that'll work. So click OK, and then it will go through some different settings. 
they give you some options if you want to use those settings and you just, you just click click what you're using tells you every, every different method you need tells you what your ISO was type exposure and then click OK and then it will work its magic so while it's doing that this is basically putting everything together and then what it will do is it will create a basically a master sort of um, auto save which is then what will use that picture to transfer and into um, Photoshop which is what I use and then you can go from there so we'll, let, we'll just let this, let this keep running I'll probably flip the video forward a little bit because it can take a little bit of time depending on what computer you're using alright so it's just computing the offsets so it's just going to stack it's going to stack 7 out of 7 so again showing you a worst case scenario and there you go look if you can slightly see there you can already see the nebula look it all in there so this will automatically save which is what it's done and this will save to your file uh, in your lights and it will save there as an auto save so what we want to do now then is take this image over to Photoshop so we'll do that now don't forget guys if you're uh, enjoying my videos please uh, subscribe uh, any any likes, thumbs up, comments would be great. It's all a uh, you know. You don't get massive overnight, so we we'll just keep plodding on. Right then. So now, it's pulling this over for us. Make sure we've actually got rid of these two. But let's just let the computer decide what it wants to do. Okay, I'm not sure what happened there, but there we go. Right, so here's your picture. This is all this, this is it stacked, and as you can see here, not stacked very well, to be honest. But again, this is not a perfect shoot night at all. Far from it. And this is what I want to show you that you know you can still pull out pretty half decent nebula shots with a <laughs> A, a Canon kit, a kit Canon camera and lens. You know, you don't need to be spending thousands and thousands on cameras and stuff. You know, we're all going to do that eventually. But anyway, right. So what we do first off, we're going to come up to the top and select mm. layer, and then we're going to click. Then we're going to click layer from background. And we'll call it. That. And then again, we're going to do a duplicate layer. And there. So we're always making layers because the reason for layers is if we mess up on one, we've always got the other one to fall back on. So what first off we're going to do is we're going to check. Oh no! The first thing we need to do, sorry, is we need to go to image, go to mode, and we need to change it to 16-bit channel because when it gets stacked it's always saved in 32 so click on that one uh, we can merge it and then we're going to pick exposure and gamma don't need to change any of the settings just click OK and there we go so that's now in 16 bit so what I'm going to do now is Go into new layer. Click OK. And I'm going to copy this layer. So that's Control A. Get your match, matching dancing dance uh, ants even. And then Control C to copy. And then click on that one and Control V to paste now we've got an exact replica of this one in there so first things first is we want to check our levels so control L and then 
can see here but also what we want to do is go up the window and get up our histogram because the histogram here is where we, where we want it is about here and we want these as close together as possible so as you can see here this is where the data spikes so I always try and bring it over a bit and take off the edge and then we do the same with the reds bring it over a touch and bring it in there and again with the greens take it over and bring it in and with the blues and the same. again control C to copy and then what we want to do is go down to this little mask layer here so if you click on that and this will bring up the mask layer and then you want to click on alt and then your mouse key and then we're going to paste that in there with control V and there we go and then we're going to go control I to invert it or not, control I, let's deselect, let's pause the video, sorry there, computer's had a bit of a brain that way on, so then we're going to go control I to invert it, oh, computer's still playing silly ass, control, control I, there we go, control I. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. And you want this, up, yeah, about between three and four. So yeah, that'll do me. And then we want to get up our levels again, which again is Control L. We want to bring that over. You see these little dots are that it's missing bits. Look, that'll do. Okay, and then. Control M, and then what we want to do is just bring that down slightly. Just to, yeah, there we go. See how it just changed everything there. So click OK there, and that's good. Happy with that. Click back onto that one, and again, Shift Control Alt E will give us a fresh. There we go, fresh layer there. Right then. So then what we're going to do is we want to save a copy of this so go to file save a copy um, and we're going to call this stars because this is going to be the stars copy it'll be a copy with stars on it and then we're going to remove the stars with a different program which I'm going to show you now we don't need the layers so decollect do set them we want this one and then click save Nice and simple. You can see our histogram is looking okay. And then we want it as none. And click OK. So that will save there for us. And then this is when we need to go for the, the next program that I use. So, I'm just go, so click on to Star Astro. Go to Downloads. Oh, the internet might help. Well, okay. But anyway, yeah, click on the there, and you want to be downloading the uh, StarNet version two. I'll put a link in the description for that. Um, so yeah, once you've downloaded that, then basically what we're going to do is, if I just bring up StarNet on mine, so downloads StarNet version 
two, there it is. And there we go there. So and here it is, so you run it from there. Very, very simple simple bit of kit to use, but so such a good bit of kit. Right, so we're gonna browse for that image that we've just saved. So let's go back to our YouTube folder. Back to our lights and then here's our stars version. So double click on that and that's going to put that there so what I always do on the output one is just put no so you've got your stars and no stars and then click run and that's it that is basically just going to go in and remove all your stars so this can be a little bit time consuming so we'll, we'll let this run and uh, grab yourself a cup of tea or coffee or something and come back at the next part Okay guys, so that's that done. So you basically you can close this off now. So we'll close that off, close this off. And then we want to open that file. So that's the file open. And we'll go down to the bottom. And here's our stars and no stars. So we want to open our no stars. And as it opens up you'll see that it's removed most of the stars, if not all of them doesn't always get them all but then what it does leave you if you can slightly see it leaves you what you eyes couldn't see before so what we're going to do that is we're going to have a little play with this now and bring out that image so again levels always first control L for your levels and you can see the big gap here we're going to pull that over and then we're going to bring this slightly down out there I think Again, with your reds, bring all that up, and then bring that down slightly there, up a little bit there. Again, with your greens, do the same, all the way up, bring this one down. Not too far, up there, and give me your blues as well. Now you can see there's the Cygnus wall there. Look. So we're going to click OK, and then what we want to do is go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, <laughs> Let that load up, and then we'll change some of this, get rid of some of this purples and stuff. So go to basic and then you've got all your basic changing filters and stuff like that here. So you've got your exposure, you obviously can turn the exposure down and we can turn it up. So bring it about there. Contrast again, and turn all the contrast all the way down, all the way up. And bring it about there. Highlights again. You can see the change is quite dramatic. Shadows, like so, whites again, blacks. So we're going to overdo it because you see how it can go all smudgy looking. So, and then you've got your texture, which is one of my favourite tools. And your clarity as well, I love this one. You can literally see how it changes the way it looks in there. And we can also dehaze it as well, it softens it right out. But you don't want to go too much with that because you'll just lose the image completely. And don't forget, this image is going to be under well, this part will when I take it into the next part, I'll show you what I mean. And then you go down to your detail, and this is where you can do your noise reduction. Again, don't be too hasty on this one. and sort yourself out so now you can see all through here as part of the signals wall so what we're going to do next again check our levels control L now I was trying to get rid of some of that dark and then purples up there that's more like it now you can really see it coming out 
branch. Have a little privacy of reds. Not too much. There we go. Greens again. I don't want too much change in there. So there, I'm pretty happy with that. So then what we want to do is go back to our original work. And then we're going to create a completely new layer. So up to layer, new layer. Layer 5, that'll be. And then we're going to go back onto this one. We're going to click Control A, which is select all, and Control C to copy. And back on to here. Click on here on your layer 5. Control V to paste that in there. And now we've basically put that on top of there. But then what we're going to do is we're going to go to where it says normal. We're going to click on that and we're going to turn to screen. And click on screen. Now you can see it's really starting to come in there. So now what I like to do is Shift Control Alt E. Cut it there. And now what I like to do at this point is to flatten my layers. So that way I know I've got to a point now where I'm happy, where I don't want to, that I know that I don't need to worry about losing anything below this. So what I will do is I'll go to layer, go to layer and then go to flatten image. And it's also handy when your computer starts getting bunged up a little bit as well. So, and then obviously we can crack on again from there. So we're going to go to Control J, which gives us a basically a copy again. And then we're going to, I think it's probably about the right time to uh, start cutting the image down. So you want to go over to your resizing tool on here, your crop tool, and then you can just crop it to get rid of that rubbish stuff that's that was on there before. You can just move things around. Just a bit more there. And yeah, that'll do. We'll crop that. Okay, so now you can see there's things moving and th things are starting to happen now. Right, so we're going to go Control L for layers. And then we're going to bring this all the way over to that. Again with the reds, bring that over. But I would like to bring that up because we don't want to be losing what we've got in there. Yep, happy with that. Uh, greens, bring that one over as well. And again, I'd like to. I'd probably bring that part over there and then bring this one up slightly. So about here. Yep, I do that. And again with the blues. Take that over there. And as you can see, as I'm moving that, if you look at the histogram, everything's moving with it. So bring that over there, bring that up. is control M which is for our curves now this time what we're going to do is we're going to click on this little button here so we're going to click on that and that gives us a little dropper tool now we can go in and just lift certain areas so what we want to do is click on here and then just push up with the old see how's it there we go push it up there but don't go too strong and then I was trying to pick a nice darker area where we know it's going to let's have a look somewhere a little bit darker up there and just slightly drop it down there we go pretty happy with that yep that's looking good and now what we want to do is we're going to go into our filter camera raw filter again and we're going to click on our basic and then we're going to go through our settings to our exposure and bring that down slightly contrast 
just up a touch. Highlights could go. Yeah, that would be nice about there. Shadows up a little bit. Whites. Don't go too much for the whites because this really does change the stars. But I do use a a plugin that you have to pay for, which does help out a few bits and bobs. And then turn the blacks down a little bit. And the clarity. touch now detail click on noise reduction bring that up ever so slightly and just keep an eye on what it's doing go and start using the sharpening tool now to sharpen things up a little bit now color reduction we'll bring that over and then again keep an eye on the screen and, and see what it's doing to your image you can see that yeah Quite happy with it there, and then click OK. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, as you can see, now it's literally starting to come out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go Control L levels. Got it right. Go through our levels again. So now the reds. I want some more red into this. So we're going to bring up the reds ever so slightly, not too much. That'll do. Our greens. I'd like to take that just there we go. Just down a touch. Our blues. Chop that end off there. And then bring that back there. That's a bit better back. Happy with that. And then we're gonna go shift control alt E for another another layer computer decides to do that, it's been a bit slow today right and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the image so I can really see what I'm working with so we go to image rotation 90% clockwise and there we go okay so as you can see, slowly starting to come in. Image is starting to come together now. Still, we've got all this to, to sort out, which isn't a problem. Right, so, what we want to do then is going to go to Control-M. And we're going to pick our little picker tool. And we're going to pick the areas that we want to bring up. So, I'm going to bring that up there. And then I'm going to bring it down... Yeah. So that's just too too much. Too too much. About there. Click OK. And then we're going to go Control L. Check our levels again. This is way too much going on here. So we look at the histogram look. We need these much, much closer together. So that's better now. Look, there we go. There we go. It's just a lot of this is just trial and error. I find, I find, and a lot of you know everyone's images. You want them the way you want them. You know, compared to how I have it, I have mine, you want it much a different, a different way. So, again, try to know. So now it's really starting to come together. Right, so next we're going to go to... We're going to hit... Oh, right, what we're doing next is... So, right, what we're going to do now, guys, is... We're going to start picking it apart and cleaning it up. So, we're going to go to select color range now this will bring up basically your picture in black and white here and then you're going to go over your little picker tool and you're going to pick the colors that you want to more make more vibrant so if we click there it's got all these here like you say but you can turn the fuzziness down so it's only hitting certain colors there we go look so that's what we want about there click ok 
and it's going to put the old dance and ants everywhere and then we're going to go to layer new adjustment layer and vibrance and then you just click vibrance one and then you basically move in your vibrance and your saturation and it will see it just where we was um, working on here So we start changing the vibrance, so we'll bring the vibrance up and then bring up the saturation as well. And you can see all in here where it's all starting to show a bit more form. So then we'll do it again, do it again. So after that, I'm going to go back onto that and go select color range and this time. I want the background. There we go. Click OK. Now it's selecting everything around that nebula. And then we want to go layer, new adjustment layer, vibrance, vibrance 2, and then we can start adjusting that. So I'm bring it up. You can really see the difference in that there. Look at the difference it makes in the picture there. And then bring the saturation up. You see that? Or you can bring it down. And there we go. Look. Makes that dark stuff proper darker. So happy with that. Vibrance probably a bit lower. Yeah, happy with that. That's good. Like that. And also we've got to sort all this all this purpley stuff out, so we'll go to select go to colour range and then we want to pick all this purpley stuff here and then up a little bit more so we're picking up some more of it, there we go click OK there we go, see it's picking it all up now look <coughs> and then we want to go to again layer adjustment layer and this time I want to go on to brightness and contrast so now we want to turn that down go up to it down just up a little bit and we'll contrast over as such adjustment layer and vibrance into the vibrance 3 so I'm going to turn the vibrance up bring it up some more there we go I'm really happy with that now looks really good there on the thickness ball part so then what we'll do is merge them layers so an image. Don't forget guys if you are enjoying the uh, video please give us a subscribe and uh, like any comments would be great all helps. Right then so now I'm just going to play with the colour slightly so I'm going to check my levels again and go to reds Yeah, as you pull it over it, you can always go way too much. That's nice about there. Happy with that. And then we've got curves. And then we're going 
to click this again and then see if we can bring out a little bit more in here also bring it down touch as well you can see you can't go all this far way down so you want to be getting somewhere into filter, camera roll filter yeah filter, camera roll filter and then basic and then start playing with these exposures again bring that up a touch contrast down a little bit Highlights, bring them up a touch, shadows, bring them whites up now a little bit, bring them blacks, so we can bring them down or we can take them up. This uh, looks about right to me. Um, bring up texture, just remember be very gentle with your texture, don't go too much. So we lose it. Clarity. Same. Bit of dehaze on there. And then our detail. Bit of noise reduction. There's a bit too much of it. We lose so much. But sometimes it's good to go a bit further up. There we go look. And then we've got our sharpen tool on that. Sharpen it all up. And there we go. Let that do its thing. And there we go. It's definitely coming together now guys. You see you can see the North American shape. A bit coming down. I've got Deneb up there. But I mean, if you think what we started off with, guys, that, sorry, that, to that, you think it was just impossible. But it's, it really isn't, guys. Honestly, it really, really isn't. You just got to know how to, how to play around with things just to get it to work the way you want it. So I'm just going to try and clean up this bottom bit. So I'm going to go select. Focus uh, color, color, color range maybe. Hmm, might be worth a try. Just clear up some of this stuff here. It's just a little bit too much going on there for me. And then layer, new adjustment layer, vibrance. Okay. And let's see what we can do. Turn some of that down. Let's see what too much because then it just here we go we turn that vibrance down look <coughs> excuse me yeah I think we'll leave it about there to be fair right and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, windows and go to actions now this is the uh, astrophotography tool set which you can I will send I will leave a link for and this is basically little extra bits that will tidy everything up for you so I always like to do a hard color gradient removal so we'll click that let that run oh sorry hang on what you have to do first is you need to flatten so let me just layer flatten image Right, and then we'll, just, we'll run that again. I'll colour remove. And run. And that should run now. And you can have a good play with these as well, just to get it to how you want it to. See there? Doesn't look so good now. So, what you do, if you're not happy with something, just undo it. That's the best thing about this. 
program and I'm no expert I'm not going to pretend I am so I'm not going to sit here and go oh shit I didn't make them I made that mistake on purpose but I didn't so that's what I like to play around with these things and see what see what you can uh, get done there's an also another good one in here for removing uh, the noise pollution and space noise noise reduction so we'll give that one a click see how that one works see if that does any favours or not Yeah, quite happy with that one. What we'll also do is enhance the DSO and reduce the style slightly. Yeah, so you know, if you are interested in sort of astrophotography, that sort of stuff, I will be doing adding more videos as I, as and when I can. The problem we've got at the moment is the weather is absolutely disgusting in this country. It is useless. Obviously, I'm in the I'm in the UK. And it is the worst summer ever. It is just rain after rain, cloud after cloud. And it's just not even worth setting up at the moment, it's that bad. So I'm going to do a quick quick colour blotch reduction. Yeah, it's terrible, absolutely terrible weather. Let me know in the comments where, where you guys are all from. Um, there we go. Quite happy with that now, to be fair. I know we've got a little bit down here, but I don't want the video to go on for too long. But and again, it's a look at the state of my image. Should I just throw it in the bin and just give up? Or should I play around with it and see what I can get out of it? And there you go. Obviously, this bit needs cleaning up and stuff, but you know, you can do that over time. It's not something that needs to be done straight away. Um, yeah, so then what I'll do is put a bit of a star refraction on some of the stars. Just a, this is just a bit of a showboaty bit, just to make it look a bit smarter. Just puts a few spikes on the stars. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be it. If there's any videos that you guys want me to do, or something, you know, a certain target you want me to aim for, then, yeah, we can definitely do something like that. But there you go, guys. That's pretty much it for today. How you can go from an image knackered to an image that's you know <laughs> there's your North American Nebula what more do you want you know don't forget this was with a kit uh, a non non modified camera with a kit lens in my back garden in you know bad bad light pollution as well because I'm in you know I'm right by a uh, retail park as well which is you know, just a nightmare so, but yeah, and, and I didn't use any filters or nothing. But there you go, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I tried to be as honest as possible. As you can see, I'm not perfect. I mean, I'm, I'm still learning as well. But, um, yeah, but there you go, guys. So, please give us a thumbs up, uh, a like, comments, um, a share. That'd be great. And uh, we can, you know, go from there. Uh, like I say, we'll be, I'll be uploading more videos as and when I can. I'll be doing more shots when I can, obviously when the weather changes. But until then guys, clear skies.